world of modern fantasy and ever-changing views and computer terminology. Commodore is Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you. Hi, I'm Graham and welcome back to the Commodore Cave. Today I'm going to look at the C64 microcomputer. This came out in Australia two months ago, Christmas in 2019. Uh, I picked one up uh, just before that and uh, I must say I'm very impressed by what I've seen. But there is one thing that bugged me a bit about this. Now it only came out with HDMI output, which is great for the modern LCD type monitors uh, everywhere today. However, not so great if you've got the traditional type CRT monitors such as the 1084S, which I do here in the Commodore Cave. And I really would have liked to have been able to run this on one of the original monitors. So I started looking around for a solution and I came across several that looked promising, um, didn't really pan out. This was one. This is the HDMI to RCA composite AV converter. Um, cost me about $12 Australian over eBay, which included postage, and I got it within about two weeks. Not bad for, uh, for down under. And uh, decided to plug it in and have a go. So let's have a look and see what happened. Let me just assure you that I have no affiliation or connection with this product or the seller. Don't know them. Uh, just bought this over eBay for full recommended retail price. Okay, now uh, there's my HDMI. Plug it into the converter. Right. Leave that for the moment. And yellow, white, and red. Okay, looks all right. Not turned on. Let's have a look and see what happens when we switch it on. Power, and hooking it up to my 1084S. Uh-huh, pretty decent picture there. Let's just try this. So I'll pick up a random screen. How about that? That's as good as any. Load it up. Well, it's looking promising, but there's no sound. That's because I didn't plug it into the USB and it needs the extra power for the sound. And we have sound. Okay, how's that? Right, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Except probably getting beaten, but that's not the point. Yep, enough of that. Let's try something else. If you watched any of my uh, YouTubes before, you may have seen this once or twice. Okay, let's try combat. See how it works. Give this guy some working out. Come here, horsey. Come on. Oh, it killed me. Never mind. Um, played fine. I want to see if this is actually giving me proper stereo. It sounds okay. Let's have a look. So, take one of these out. And it definitely is proper stereo. Great. It plays fine, but that screen doesn't look right to me. The Archon screen is actually 15 and a half centimeters across. So let's compare that with a real C64 and see how that looks. Those more observant may notice this is an LD. Icon. Let's check it. It is 16 and a half centimeters. 
that's the one centimeter difference and I have noticed a border on the left and right sides of the screen to me it still seems playable and I think I could live with it I suppose the question is can you and not that there should be any difference and there isn't this is it running on the original Commodore 1701 monitor it also has NTSC and PAL options. I've only run it on PAL, that's all I have here, but I see no reason why it wouldn't run on the NTSC just as well. If you have any inclination or need to run the C64 on real hardware, real monitors, I'd recommend you consider uh, the 10 or 12 bucks that this is gonna cost you and uh, get one. Anyway, that's it from me from the Commodore Cave. If you found it interesting or useful, please give me a thumbs up or better still leave a comment or better still subscribe. Uh, I'll leave links to all this information below. Till next time from the Commodore Cave, see ya.